It's a rather uh, blustery day here in Monte. As you can see, the wind behind me, the wind, all the white caps on the water, and pretty good, pretty good breeze blowing. I want to talk to you today about a couple of things. Probably a lot of you don't want to hear about this, but I want to talk about crime. Crime here in Ecuador. This seems to be a really big issue that needs to be talked about. There's been a lot of stuff that's happened here recently. There's been some pretty sad shootings that have taken place. Uh, as soon as I come back, we'll get started on it. Hey! Oh, rock a cheek. Hello there. Let's talk about crime for a minute. Okay, let's, there, I, I'm not going to kid you and, and try to make you think that, you know, crime doesn't exist here in Ecuador because it does. I mean, if we're, I, you've heard me say many times that there's not a country in this world that doesn't have a crime problem. Well, I mean, there's some that don't have a crime problem, and, uh, but, you know, we don't live there. Ecuador has, if you look at the statistics for crime, based on the number of murders and, and events that take place uh, within 100,000 people, well, the statistics would prove that crime is pretty high here in Ecuador compared to a country like the United States or uh, other North American countries. Here's a video that was taken about three weeks ago. This is a shooting that took place just a few blocks away from here happened at night there's a family sitting here as you can see and uh, I don't know if they're eating or playing cards or who knows what but apparently the guy in, in the middle of the, the frame is the target and you can see here what happens and it's not a not a pleasant sight this is a shooting that got recorded by a surveillance camera and even though it looks like the girl might have gotten shot the report is that only the man was shot, that that they were shooting at point-blank range. That happened here in Monte, just a, just a few blocks away from here where I live. I don't know the details of it, don't really need to know. There is another event that took place a few weeks ago. There's some expats from here that live here in Monte that decided to go for a road trip, and they went down the coast, down toward... Port of Kyle, Port of Lopez, down in that area. And these guys were, uh, you know, out looking at the beach and enjoying the view and just soaking it all in. And they were approached by some people and they were kidnapped. And they lost everything they had with them, including their car. And the last report that I got was the, uh, the, the way they finally got away and got their way back to freedom was they, they were left in a remote location in the jungle and or in the forest or whatever you want to call it and they were uh, finally made their way back to the road and a good Samaritan took them into town and took them to the police department. I was going to do an interview with this gentleman who was involved in this bad event and but uh, the last time I talked to him, the, the report that I got from him was that they were trying to negotiate with the thugs that kidnapped them to get their car back. So they're being extorted for their car, and they were, they were pretty high price, I think $4,500 or, or something like that, to get this guy's car back. I don't know why the police aren't involved. I don't know anything about how this was, was resolved, even if it was resolved. But that's just another incident that happens here, you know? And, the, and then there was a report today about a shooting that took place up here in Flavio Reyes. Uh, the gentleman that got shot was a pretty uh, well-recognized homeless man that roams around here 
a lot of people know who he is, know him, and, and he owns th like three dogs, and he has dreadlocks, and he roams from, he hangs around out on the beach and sells candy and begs for money, stuff like that. But anyway, apparently he was targeted by some drug runners who he was watching one time. And apparently the story that I got is that he had watched a bunch of drug runners delivering drugs on the beach and they followed him and and according to the reports that I heard this morning that they could they could hear him on the cameras saying why me why me they, they shot this guy on the sidewalk four times and then went around the block and and then came back and shot him again four more times he was shot a total of eight times and killed so this is the kind of stuff that happens around here it's, I'm sorry to have to report this. I'm, I'm a little leery about wanting to report this for fear of being targeted myself, but I'm trying to be as discreet about this as possible, and I don't want to scare everybody off. I don't want you to think that it's too dangerous to come to Ecuador. These are isolated incidents. They are, most of the shootings that take place are targeted hits. The kidnapping, I, you know, I don't know how to uh, justify that or explain it other than say that, you know, if I was in that location, I wouldn't have gotten out and walked down on the beach. I'm going to Yampi this weekend. I'm a little bit leery about going there because yesterday there were reports of road closures over some protest over municipal pay and they weren't letting buses go through. So I, so and I were planning to go down there for the weekend and I'm hoping that we don't get turned back because of that. I'll keep you posted on that. So this is the reality, folks. This is the reality of coming to a country like Ecuador that's gone, it, the crime happens just like it does everywhere else. So you have to make the decision yourself. There's still I don't know if you can hear the construction behind me, but there's two big giant uh, condo buildings being built just right down here. And there's a lot of growth here. And the new government is claiming they're gonna get a hold of this situation with crime and put a stop to it. And But you know, we just have to see what happens. I'm certainly not gonna make any promises that's all I had for this video. I just, I just want you to know, you know, and I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. I don't lose a wink of sleep worrying about crime here in Ecuador because I use my common sense. I know where to go and where not to go. I think that's what keeps me safe. And for the most part, everybody here is, here in Monte is in the areas that I live in and most of the expat areas, you're relatively safe. So don't let what you hear on the news discourage you too much, but do know that it does happen, okay? I wish you well, and I will see you on the next one, okay? Ciao, ciao.